Hi, this is Chaplain Rittmaster with the 34th Infantry Division. I'm the Family Life Chaplain. I'll be doing these video telepods every week and uh, we'll be talking about a variety of different issues. Probably you've experienced a, a fair amount of stress in the few weeks that we've been here. Some of you have been here for uh, about a month and a half, some three weeks, and some have just gotten here over the past couple days. Whatever the case is, there's enough stressors to affect all of us, whether it's standing in lines or uh, not being able to get internet access or having equipment malfunction or uh, you know, not being able to get enough sleep. There's lots of ways in which uh, things are, are impacting us. In addition to that, uh, there's a lot of things probably at home that uh, families are having to make changes and so forth. It's a, it's a stressful time. So what are you going to do about that? Well, the serenity prayer is one of the best ways to think about uh, how to approach this. You know, there's some, certain things that we can control and there's certain things we can't. And the part of that prayer is to understand that um, to be able to change the things that we can is good. And we should do that uh, to lower our stress and accept the things that we cannot change, which is also good because uh, there's no sense in trying to control the uncontrollable. And then, of course, the wisdom to know the difference. So what specifically can you do? Well, in terms of your environment, uh, not a lot perhaps changes you can make. Uh, maybe reduce stress by rethinking, reframing how you look at a particular situation. Uh, if you're standing in line, if there's things that you can't control, maybe that's a, a good time for you to, to send a prayer up to God or take a mental break and, and learn a way of what uh, one chaplain described as being uh, called ragdoll. It's, uh, it's, a, um, it's a term that they use uh, in swimming in the ocean and surfboarding, that kind of stuff, where the wave takes you and you just kind of have to go with it. The other thing is to uh, not plan your days in a way that uh, is too much for you to be able to do. And if you can set realistic goals, that's a helpful thing as well. The other thing is, is to keep uh, good nutrition, to try and get to sleep at a regular time every night, and if possible, to do your PT, because uh, that's an automatic stress reduction that will help a lot. And finally, just talking to people is a huge way of uh, reducing stress. And if uh, you can't do that with your battle buddy, Always remember that there are four chaplains here, four chaplains assistants, and we're ready and willing to listen to whatever it is that you have to say, and confidentiality is all a part of that. Some good things coming up, by the way. I want to let you know about that on uh, March 11th and 12th from 1500 to 2100. there would be an opportunity to meet with the Minisku folks. That's the educational folks that are flying in from the Twin Cities. They're going to help you find a way to further your education while you're on this deployment. Take advantage of that. And remember, we're the Red Bulls, and we're going to do it together. God bless you.